Is the Chinese flag a communist flag? A couple of days ago, during the epic piano livestream, our favorite main character, Newton Leng, accused Dr. K of being a racist and of discriminating against another country. It all started when Dr. K asked our friends whether they were in the Chinese Communist Party, thereby escalating the whole situation to the point that now it has become an international geopolitical struggle involving Winnie the Pooh being raised up speeches being given and the St. Pancras piano turning into a literal freaking icon of freedom of speech. So is that discrimination, a misunderstanding, or just yet another Newton Lang boy cry wolf Don't touch her! Don't touch her! Please do not touch her! Please! You are not the same age! Type saga right there. Well, as it turns out, as with most things in life, it's actually a bit more complicated than that. Let's dive right in. On one hand, the Chinese national flag is symbolic of the nation of China, and I think that's what Newton was getting at when he was saying that, well, not all Chinese people are communists. But there's a bit more complication than that. For the record, the Chinese flag wasn't always what it was. When the People's Republic of China took power in 1949, basically the flag was changed. So it eventually transformed into the red colored flag that you have right now. Now you might think to yourself, since the Chinese flag is simply a national symbol and it doesn't say anything about communism, does that mean that Dr. K is just an ignorant Westerner then? The reality is that interpreting the Chinese flag is complex and here's why. Every flag is both a national symbol as well as a series of images or ideas that are connected essentially to the historical formulation of the country itself. Is it a communist symbol though? Let us seek the guidance of the divine. The wonderful world of Wikipedia tells us the national flag of the People's Republic of China, also known as the Five Star Red Flag, is a Chinese red field with five golden stars charged at the canton. It has been the national flag of China since the foundation of the People's Republic of China on 1st October 1949. The red represents the Chinese Communist Revolution. The five stars and their relationships to each other represent the unity of four social classes of Chinese people, symbolized by four smaller stars under the Chinese Communist Party, symbolized by the large star. I don't know about you man, but like that seems pretty communist to me. So if we look at it in a broad sense, that flag can be viewed both as a communist flag and also as a national flag. That was a design choice that was put in place so that people would associate the nation with the Chinese Communist Party. If you love your country, then you love the party. If you love the party, then you love the country. That's essentially how that played out. But coming back to these dudes for a moment, you have to remember that these people are literally migrants from China. They're living in London. They're enjoying their lives overseas at the moment. If communism were such an incredible experience for them, then maybe they wouldn't be doing so. For all you know, they probably don't align completely with the communist ideology in the very first place but it's probably not something that they could have actually mentioned in video. I mean, honestly, even if you were to watch the video, you could probably conclude that maybe Newton actually wasn't a communist or a little pink for that matter. It's like, if he really were a little pink, I think he would really just go out there and start screaming party slogans and stuff like that. But the fact that he didn't do that, it makes me think that our boy Newton is just a disrespectful sob and that this has nothing to do with communism at all. As far as interpreting the flag goes, I would say that it is unavoidable that you would interpret the Chinese flag as a symbol of communism because that is what it is. It's not the original hammer and sickle communist flag, but it is a communist flag. That's a fact that Chinese people have to deal with even if they don't want to personally admit it. Still though, I understand where Newton came from, at least in this situation, and why he responded in the way that he did. It doesn't excuse any of his bad behaviors from before. It was emotional, rude, and arguably tremendously stupid behavior, but it made sense to me why he immediately just went out there and started accusing Dr. K of discrimination. It's true that essentially the flag is linked to a particular ideology, but whatever the situation right there, everybody has the right to decide how they look at their own country, 
how to interpret its legacy and to think about all of those things. Each person who is a citizen of a country has the right to think from within themselves about how they want to conceive their role as a person of that nation. Whether that's going to change anything or whether that change is even something on the cards is a separate matter altogether. But that right, I think, is what our friend, badly behaving as he was, felt was violated on that day in St. Pancras Station. But one more thing. How right is he that Brendan Kavanaugh, Dr. K, is a racist? Make sure to get subscribed, hit that bell, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.